Crazy Mike, crazymikesapps.com, with an iPad app demo for App Star Picks by AppGrade and Fun Educational Apps. This application is in the catalogs category, is iOS Universal, meaning it works on the iPhone, iPod Touch, and iPad. Best of all, this application won't cost you anything to download, as it is free. This app has over 250 unbiased app reviews done by four independent review websites to provide you some of the best kids iPhone and iPad apps available. has smart search engine functionality and a bunch of other features. Let's go ahead and check it out. Here's the opening screen based on the navigation at the bottom. This area is called Picks. Now these picks are categories, books, early learning, art and creative play, games, and you can see they go on and on. They are going to add some more categories in the future. Now in some categories like books, there are subcategories, and we can head back out here to games, and you're just going to get all the applications, and in this case, they're going to be in a cover flow mode. Now, CoverFlow only works in landscape mode. It's not going to work in portrait mode. In portrait mode, you're actually going to get list view, which I'll show you in a moment. Let's go ahead and tap on one of these apps, Nancy Drew, Shadow Ranch. We'll tap there, and it's going to pull up the review. In this case, it's done by Fun Educational Apps. You can see the title, some other information, such as the category, storybooks and games, the age it's good for, what device it's for, which is iPad, and the price. You can do some basic pinching in and pinching out to make the text size smaller or bigger. And then there's some additional functionality of tapping, tapping on the bottom of the screen, which takes you down a page, and of course you can scroll down. Now you can navigate to the next review by the arrows in the top right, or simply by tapping on the text over here on the far right of the screen. Again, you see some additional navigation once you're inside a review. We can tap on the sun there, and we can actually change the brightness of the screen, or change to night mode, which is another perspective that you can use the application in. It comes in both night and day modes. You can wish list the app by tapping there on the heart, buy the app by tapping on the shopping cart, and you can tap here on the up arrow and share through Twitter, Facebook, through email, or print this out through AirPrint. The home button here gives you the, the options of going to your wish list, your recents or history, the picks area, we can tap here, and this is actually going to take us to the search functionality, which is a very important feature in this app. It is very useful for searching different things you want to search, like in my case, kids or math. I'll tap on math, and there were 55 results. Now, it has a really slick functionality. When I tap on Park Math, it's obviously a math application. It's going to have math pointed out throughout the review, which is a neat feature. I'm going to head back here. Another functionality is when you're in the cover flow mode, if you want to tap on the bottom right, it'll actually put this into list mode. And list view is what you're going to get when you're in portrait mode, as this app does work in portrait mode. Now we can see this all, this is our search results again in list view. Some of the other functionality when you're in list view, if you look at the bottom right of the icon for the application, you're going to see an HD which means it works for iPad, plus which means it's universal, and if it has nothing, it's typically iPhone only. Also on the far right side, you're going to see the app price, and sometimes you're going to see a cross out on the price, like over here, in the world of Safari, one, two, three, is now free, it was 99 cents, so you can get that for free currently. Not a bad deal. Check over here, again, wish list are apps that you would like to get. I actually have that in edit mode. I can put done, so you can delete them off by pressing edit mode. Again, your recents are here or your history. And then over here in info, you have a lot of other options. You have appearance, tons of settings in here. Under sound, again, more settings, just a slider. And you have actual more settings, which you can go into. Lots of functionality to change how you want to use the application. And if you want to reset the entire app, there's a default button to reset the entire app to the way it was when you downloaded it. We're going to go back to Picks, head out to the main area here by tapping on Games, and then we'll tap on the arrow there on the bottom right, and this is where we started. That's it for this iPad app demo. Until next time, this is Crazy Mike saying see ya.